Let's review Logitech MX Key S. This is Artist Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. Full disclosure, Logitech sent me this to do review all the opinions on my own. I have been using their MX product even before I was reviewing any of these, and their mouse and keyboard has been my daily driver for the longest time. I choose their MX series because of the design ergonomics that fits well within my creative workflow, and the other thing is that I really love their Option Plus software that integrates seamlessly between both Mac and PC. In fact, it offers a lot of customization for these function key that I can go down and program it to the individual program, and the nice thing about it, if I move to another computer, because I sign in with my Logitech Plus account, I can download the software, install it on another machine, and all of my customizations there, saving me a lot of time. So that's the main key difference why I really love their MX Series product. Now, let's talk about their MX Key S. This is their latest update to the full size MX keys and it comes in three different colors. This is the pale gray, there is the graphite, and also a black version, which looks really sleek. I wish I have that one in the studio, but this pale gray one's going to do and it functions exactly the same, so we're going to be reviewing this one. In the box, you do get the keyboard. You will also get a USB Type A to USB Type C charging cable, and on the keyboard, there is a USB Type C port. A few things to note about this USB-C port is that it will only work for charging. So even though you have the cable plug between the keyboard and the computer, if you're not paired using either Bluetooth or the dongle that comes with it, it's not going to talk to the computer. So FYI there. And lastly, you do get their latest Bolt dongle. Now, for those of you that have the previous generation of this keyboard and say, for instance, you have their new MX3S mouse, that uses the Bolt dongle, this may be a good time for you to upgrade and unify the dongles together, even though this is called the Bolt dongle. Anyway, so with that said, let's go over a few key feature difference between this particular new one and the previous generation. As I already mentioned, the dongle would be the first thing. Secondly, the key variation would be the function key at the very top. For example, we have dictation, we have the emoji key, we have the microphone mute and mute key. This has been changed from the previous version. The other thing is also the keyboard backlight. There's a little bit more customizability now. You can change the brightness of the key and so forth. So this is going to offer you a little bit more customization about the overall experience. Experience. With this in mind, we can still pair this keyboard with up to three different computers, which makes it very easy to use. And the other thing too is between computer number one, two, and three, you don't all have to use the Bolt dongle. You can simply do one with Bolt, another one with Bluetooth, and it will work just fine and seamlessly all throughout. All right. Another key difference between this and the previous generation I know as well is the key sits just a touch higher and it has a little bit more resistance so it's a little bit more firm to press down than the previous version. This is just one of those minor tactile feel depending on how you like the previous version. You might like this one more or you may feel neutral about it. It really just all depends. That's pretty much the main difference between this keyboard and the previous one. And Here's the bottom if you want to see the bottom of this keyboard. All right, what I'm going to do now is take this Bolt dongle and I am going to plug this into my USB-C, plug this into a Mac, and we're going to launch Logitech Option Plus so I can show you some of the keyboard customization that does come with it. Now, normally if you are getting a computer, particularly a Mac, let's say you are getting a Mac Mini or a Mac Studio that doesn't have a keyboard and you just want to buy a brand new Logitech keyboard and mouse right away, when you pull these out of the box, this dongle by default will be already paired to the device in channel one. So you can simply plug the dongle in and it will work without any problems. However, if you want to use one dongle with both mouse and keyboard, you can certainly plug the dongle into another Mac or another PC pair everything all up with the dongle first and then bring it to the new Mac you're setting up and you're going to be fine. I'll leave a link to that video that I made in the description so you can check that out as well. All right, so I already have this plugin. What I'm gonna do is click on add advice because I have paired this numerous times already. I am simply going to click on the plus. This is the Logitech Plus option software and I'm gonna choose the bolt dongle and I'll do the third channel right now. So I'm just gonna hold this button down now is blinking rapidly, it's mean it's ready to connect, so we'll do that. And in order to authenticate with the bolt, it's really nice. It has you verify by typing in all these numbers to verify that you are trying to link the correct keyboard. One of those security measures is doing really great to see. So once you get that pair, there is the Meet MX Key S. So this is a feature tour. It's going to walk you through all the new functions on this particular keyboard. For example, I already mentioned the mute unmute. Next up is going to be the dictation and emoji. 
the backlighting that we can go and control from the keyboard itself, which is really nice. There's a status indicator for low battery. Easy switching between multiple different computers. You can customize all these function key and there's really multiple ways of doing that. There is pretty much just the regular set function keys that you have there and let's go into the keyboard itself to show you a few things. Starting out with the backlight, this is the new feature. So you can turn the backlight on or off. There is now a duration that you can push this up to 30 minutes. So if you're gonna leave your keyboard plug in, you want the keyboard lighting or the backlighting to be on longer, you can turn it up to 30 minutes. But if you're running on battery, this is definitely going to pretty much reduce the battery life overall as well. So something to think about there. There is now an automatic brightness to which it will sense the ambient light in the room and adjust the keyboard accordingly, which is really nice. So it can dim down a little bit if you're in a fairly dim environment so your keyboard's not blaring at you. There is a battery saving mode so when your keyboard battery is low it won't turn on the backlight so on and so forth easy switching this is how you can see which computer this has been paired with if you use the bolt dongle you can leave a dongle on the computer but if you move the dongle to another computer it will just be paired to that exact same channel so just something to think about there and lastly are all these keys so for instance i can go in and perform some customization. Right now it's set to brightness down, but if I don't want that, I can go in and change it to a keyboard shortcut. If I'm in this like four grid global setting, it's going to apply throughout the entire operating system. But what I can simply do is come and click on this plus sign and choose the program. For instance, I have already customized this with Lightroom Classic. So I can tap on Lightroom Classic, you can see there's a turquoise bar on the very bottom there denoting it as selected. I can click on a keyboard shortcut and I can type in the shortcut I want to use in this box. And every time in Lightroom Classic, every time I press the F1 key, it's going to form that specific key combination rather than using the global setting, the OS. And you can go in and customize these key based on different application. And because you sign in on the account, if you sign in on another computer, it will take all these function keys that you have already program into it and bring it over, which makes it really seamless. So yes, this is pretty much the MX key S this generation i really like the keyboard personally for me though my daily driver i really prefer the mx mechanical a little bit better for a few reasons now, number one is that these keyboards as good as they may be the key does go into a well so it does become more of like a dust pocket over time the nice thing about the mx mechanical is that this you can pretty much see through the entire keyboard so when you need to blow the dust out and everything it's a lot easier to do that and does create a little bit cleaner keyboard as well and i just love the tactile feel of the mechanical keyboard i have done extensive review on that as well i'll leave a link to them in the description so I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions or comment, leave them below. Give this a like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you're new and in our retrust.